Hello guys, welcome to Passiveon. In this video, I am going to compare two AI art generation tool who are this AI SEO art and this USP AI. Both tool are available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal and they are basically AI art generator. And in this video, I will compare these two tool and I will show you the output quality of this two tool. Also the other features available on this two tool. And as you can see the pricing of this usp ai is 89 usd here you will get 1500 credits per month unlimited amount of blog i'm not sure what this blog is because on their da dashboard i haven't seen anything like blog and you can stack one additional code to get this feature and if you see the lifetime deal pricing of this ai SEO art it's 59 usd and here you will get 800 credits per month and 800 credit does not mean that you can create 800 images per month because um, in some case it will cost you 1.5 credit or 2 credit to generate only one image i have shown everything guys on this aiso art um, review video on my youtube channel so if you're interested you can watch this video and here i have explained how credits uh, calculated on aiso art anyway guys these are the pricing comparison of these two tool now if i show you the dashboard see this is the dashboard of this usp ai and in case of ai seo art this is the dashboard of ai seo art now i will compare these things step by step at first i have to give some prompt in both case on ai seo or on usp art now i'm not a prompt expert that's why i will use lexica.art here to get the prompt and let's say i will generate one image for graffindor house and i hope you can remember our very nostalgic and graph indoor house guys anyway let's say i will generate this one and then i will copy this prompt you can basically modify this prompt and lexica.art is an amazing ai uh, art prompt search engine you can use this lexica.art i always use it anyway i will copy this thing and then see i will go to usp.art and then here i will create one a blog let's say now what this blog they are basically saying blog to their image i'm not sure why they are saying um, blog to their image because see i have generated this image and they're saying that this is one blog but here um, only image is available why they are saying it as a blog i'm not sure these are the things anyway guys let's say i will create one new picture just click here create picture here you have to just give your prompt or your imagination that you want to create and in my case, I have copied it from lexica.art. I'm pasting it. But in your case, definitely you have to modify this thing by your own. And then here you can select different styles. See, there are 3D, render, abstract, anime, art, deco, cartoon, illustration, line art, origami, then pixel art, pop art, retro, stick figure, and sticker art. Let's say I'll use here this illustration. And medium, you can use here acrylics, canvas, Char uh, charcoal, classical oil, then crayon. My pronunciation may have wrong, guys. Anyway, glass, ink, mixed, media college, modern oil, uh, painting, pastel, pencil sketch, spray print, watercolor uh, painting, and wood panel. Let's say I'll use here canvas. And then mood. You can select different mood. That's really amazing, guys. Aggressive, energy, boring, bright. Uh, calm, cheerful, chilling, colorful, content, dark, depressing, and then a lot of um, feelings are available here. A lot of feelings. Let's say I will use here this. Um, let's say I will use this colorful. And then more options are available. Ambient light, black and white, close up, flat lighting, full face portrait, high resolution, highly detailed, photorealistic, and realistic let's say photo realistic and after doing these things now if i click here create then it will create one image for you basically and let's see how much credit it will cost before generating the image i had four credit and see this image they have generated and it's very beautiful looking guys now i'll go to lexica.art and i will give here the same prompt i'll just paste it see this is the same prompt that i have used on usp.ai and here you can select your image size but on lexica.ai 
you cannot select your image size this is one downside but sorry not on lexica.ai on usp.ai you cannot select this size see they have a square size horizontal size vertical size these are the things also they have some advanced setting here you can basically organize your uh, images in different folder these are the things but it's not very important i think but here one another thing i am um, seeing guys whenever i have searched here any prompt they are showing me some related image see some related image if i delete some prompt from here let me delete some prompt then i hope you will get the idea let me delete and i hope the images will be changed okay let me write see and here the images has been changed depending on your prompt so you do not have to create your um, image every time so that you need more credit you can just search your prompt here and then you can get the related image also from here but let's say i will generate one image here you can select uh, category see uh, a lot of categories are available let's say i'll select here this photography category and then if i click here generate then it will generate the image for you and here i have selected this 512 uh, by 512 square image see this is the image that it has generated you can enhance it you can download it from here if you want to generate more you can generate more just by clicking here then it will give you more image let me generate see this is the image but i think usp ai have generated very nice image in this case because on usp ai they have more uh, control thing you can control style media mood uh, and more options are available but on ai seo art and more options are not available you have to explain everything here on your word basically so these are the things these are the output quality of these two tool guys which one do you think um, is preferable which one do you think more amazing guys let me know in the comment section so these are the things and um, they have credit system if i go to the dashboard see Previously, I had 130 credit. So to generate two image, I have I needed two credit basically, and this credit I needed to generate this uh, 512 by 512 square um, image. But if I generate horizontal or vertical image, then the credit calculation will be. I have shown everything about the uh, credit calculation about uh, on this um, AISU art review video on my YouTube channel, guys. Anyway, and on uh, usp.ai let me go to the dashboard see now i have three credit so previously i had four credit so to generate this one image i um, needed one uh, credit basically i hope you get idea and here if i go to the blog section they are saying it blog but i'm not sure why it a blog basically here you will be able to see all your images so these are the things i hope you get idea and they have a roadmap let me go to the usp ai roadmap guys see here is the roadmap you can check this roadmap from here i hope you get idea guys about this usp ai and about the ai seo art uh, tool they both are um, amazing they have different feature in their uh, dashboard so um, depending on your need you can get the um, tool that you need basically i hope you get idea and let me know in the comment section guys which tool do you prefer and which tool do you think you will get and you can get you know, this two tool in the uh, app sumo as a lifetime deal i'll give the link of this two tool in the description of this video just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount on usp ai and aiso art uh, lifetime deal it's an affiliate link guys if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal i'll get a small commission without costing you any additional costing so if you think guys this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal and the last thing is visit our website www.pc1.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vip lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much guys for watching this video